in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Get the front receptionist's attention and ask to visit someone called the holder of gore. The clerk will pretend not to hear you, but keep asking until he finally looks up and agrees to lead you where you must go. He will promptly get up and take you to a dark cellar outside the asylum. The cellar is too dark to see, but in the entrance is a torch. Carry it with you and pray it doesn't go out. What watches you from the shadows hates the light. As you are walking, you may hear screams coming from all directions. Some sound as though they are miles away, and some only feet away. Ignore these, no matter how loud and agonizing they may be, and keep walking. Never stop to find the source. You will eventually come to a fork meeting to hallways. One is bright and one is dark. If you take the lit path, the torch will go out, and nothing you can ever do will light the flame again. You will be stuck in that place for the rest of your mortal life or be forced to walk back into the darkness where unimaginable creatures await you. They have not fed in decades, unless you are particularly suicidal. Take the dark path and keep a firm grip around your torch. After what seems like a few miles, you will come to a door covered in bloody hand prints with bare skeletons littering the floor. Stop at the door and ask this question, what can hurt them? Do not fear asking any other question, as you would be dead before you could realize it, which is a much nicer way to go than many of the ways you could have by now. The door will swing open, and you will find three men gagged and hanging by their ankles. You then realize you still have object to 125, and now you have a choice to make. You can either cut the ropes and set them free or kill them. If you set them free, your torch will go out and the aforementioned creatures will leap for you. The holder does not take kindly to those who take her pet's food. If you are able to kill them in a slow, gruesome, and bloody manner, you will hear a sinister laugh evil enough to drive the most divine warrior insane before it is finished. Should you survive this, you may consider yourself rather lucky. This means the holder was pleased with your manner of execution. She will ask you to put the knife at your feet and walk away. Do not do this if you want to get out alive. Instead, shout at her, show yourself, or suffer the same fate. The room will get deathly quiet, the screams will stop, your breathing will make no noise, and the torch, still lit, will become as quiet as it was before it was lit, the holder will let out a quiet hiss. Listen very carefully, you must detect where it came from and dodge the holder as she lunges at you. If you live, every candle in the room will light, showing her form. She will have the body of a snake, but with long arms with razor-sharp nails on each finger. Her face cannot be described in any human tongue, but once you have seen it, the vision of it will be burned into your mind until the day you die. She will very slowly slither her way to you. You may think all hope is lost, but she is still mortal. When she lets her guard down, take the blade and drive in deep into her heart. She will smile at you and say, just as it was foretold as she dies. Remove the heart from her chest. Needless to say, it is not like your heart. It is very dark red and pumps, not blood, but rather a thick black substance that disappears when it comes in contact with your skin. Squeeze the heart in your right hand until it pops, and you will find yourself outside the asylum. The heart will be gone. Her blood is object to under 26 of 538, 
it pumps through your veins now. <laughs>